Be still for the presence of the Lord. The Holy One is here. Come bow before him now with reverence and fear. In him no sin is found. We stand on holy ground. Be still for the presence of the Lord. The Holy One is he. For the glory of the Lord is shining all around. He burns with holy fire, with splendor he is crowned. How awesome is the sight, a radiant King of light. Be still, for the glory of the Lord is shining all around. He comes to cleanse and heal, to minister his grace. No work too hard for him, in faith receive from him. Be still, for the power of the Lord is moving in this place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, good morning. And it's lovely to see you all. It's a very special day indeed for, where are you? Well, there we are. For the children who are to receive the Sacrament of Reconciliation for the first time this morning, you're all very, very welcome, I can assure you. So let's just take a wee moment. And I know, St. Patrick's, you're very good at this. You take a wee moment just in silence. And I know what we're doing in that silence. We're just feeling each other's presence, being aware of each other, and being very much aware that God is with us. And as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we always at this time, every time in the Mass, we say we're sorry for our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <coughs> Graciously hear the prayers of those who call upon you, we ask, O Lord, and forgive the sins of those who confess to you, granting us in your kindness both pardon and peace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. If you take a wee seat, we'll listen to our first reading. <clears throat> A 
reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Today the Lord today the Lord your God commands you to obey all his laws, so obey them faithfully with all your heart. Today you have acknowledged you have acknowledged the Lord as your God. You have promised to obey him and to do all that he commands. Today the Lord has accepted you as his own people as he promised. You are to obey all his laws. He will make you greater than any other nation that he has created, and you will bring praise and honour to his name. You will be his own people as he promised. The word of the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good. Trust in the Lord and do good. Live in the land and be safe. Seek your happiness in the Lord, and he will give you your heart's desire. Trust in the Lord and do good. Give yourself to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will help you. He will make your righteousness shine like the noonday sun. Trust in the Lord and do good. Soon the wicked will disappear. You may look for them, but you won't find them. The humble will possess the land and enjoy prosperity and peace. Trust in the Lord and do good. If you just remain seated. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Now, now, it is the Lord who speaks. Come back to me with all your heart. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge others, and God will not judge you. Do not condemn others, and God will not condemn you. Forgive others, and God will forgive you. Give to others, and God will give to you. Indeed, you will receive a full measure, a generous helping poured into your hands, all that you can hold. The measure you use for others is the one that God will use for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord. That's a terrific Gospel acclamation, isn't it? It is the Lord who speaks. Now, now, come back to me with all your heart. Now, I know you were watching a DVD, and it's called Lump, which seems like an odd name for a DVD, but those of you who are primary three and above will have seen it by now. 
And it's a very wonderful story of a wee boy who kind of <clears throat> finds, in inverted commas, this ball, except he hasn't found it. He's lifted it out of his pal's house. And when his mum challenges him on it, he says, oh, nothing to do with me. I know no, absolutely know nothing about it. And he gets caught out in the lie. Not only has he actually taken it, he gets caught out in the lie. And he's so ashamed, he runs away, he runs upstairs, he climbs into his parents' beds and he pulls the cover over himself and he stays there all day, terrified, not knowing what to do next. And that's why it's called lump, because when his father comes home, he detects a great big lump in the middle of his bed and it's his wee boy hiding under the covers. And he pulls back the covers and the wee boy's cowering there. And basically what his father says to him is just that. Come back to me with all your heart. That's one of my favourite hymns. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. That's what the sacrament of reconciliation is about. It's about those times when you've done something wrong and you know you've done something wrong and you think, what do I do now? What do I do now? You say you're sorry and you make it good. That's what you do now. You say you're sorry and you make it good. And that's what the sacrament of reconciliation is all about. So don't worry. Don't get all tied in knots, right? I'm not going to be nasty. I'm going to be quite nice. Because I've got to be. Because it's not me that forgives you. It's Jesus that forgives you. So I've got to go with those words. Because it's the Lord who speaks. Now, now, come back to me with all your heart. And that's the same for all of you. So in a wee moment, we will have our prayers of intercession. And again, just to avoid disturbance, because it's nice and calm, we'll just remain seated for our prayers of intercession. <coughs> so if you'd like to come forward now. <coughs> I'll stand on your behalf. We know that God says to us, come back to me with all your heart. He also says to us, come to me with any problems you have. Ask for anything you need and I'll give you it. And that's what we do now. That all leaders in our church and world will work for peace and justice. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That this school community will draw closer to you during this Lenten season. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That we may forgive as you forgive us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. That through the prayers of Mary, our mother, we may reach out to the needy. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. I have one more quite big intention to pray for this morning. It's a very special birthday intention. And I'd like to place that intention very much into God's hands today. Lord, hear us. Lord, Heavenly Father, we have come to you with all our hearts. We ask that you hear our prayers, and if it's your will, that you grant them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offences and direct our wavering hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles, with St. Patrick, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Very, very quietly, very, very gently, very gently, let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you, Michael. Peace be with you. 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 Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation. For your loving mercy, be for me protection of mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am no worthy that you should enter under my roof only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Now we'll do what we usually do on this occasion. I'm going to get the primary ones, twos and threes to stand. (coughs) 
just like to give you a very special blessing this morning because we're coming towards Easter and that's very important. So here's, in advance, it's a kind of Easter blessing. We just ask that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit will come down upon you all, keep you safe throughout your holidays, throughout your life. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right, thanks. Okay. And everybody else knows what to do. You just come forward down the middle and up the sides. If you're coming for communion, left over right. If you're coming for my blessing, just that. Okay? <clears throat>
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant us, merciful God, that receiving in this gift the forgiveness of sins, we may be able by your grace to avoid sinning from now on and to serve you in sincerity of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now I'm going to cheat, because at this point I'm supposed to just give you my final blessing and dismiss you, but we've got something really quite important to do this morning. So could I ask you to take a wee seat, please? And I'm going to have to evict my altar servers. So servers, you'll need to go and sit over there with Michael because I need the two seats. Just sit over there, that's fine. And we're just going to turn these. 